guys, today's video is going to be my last Halloween video. Eh. This actually really sucks because I had a few more Halloween videos I wanted to do this year and like always, time just gets away from me and I always over plan and think I can do like 10 Halloween videos and that never works out. But I decided to end with a bang and do some classic Halloween character costumes. And if you're kind of confused as to what I'm saying, Think of your favorite Halloween movies that you like to watch every year because mine are Hocus Pocus, A Nightmare Before Christmas, and The Addams Family, and bam, my video. I think now this is my favorite. I said that in the last one, but I love this one. Um, so let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, and tell me, since this is my last Halloween video, what you're dressing up as, if anything. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's get into the video. I am what I tell you. Sanderson sisters costume this is actually a lot easier than you might think and some of the pieces you can even find in your own closet and it's pretty epic if I do say so myself I've been wanting to recreate this costume for so long so I'm so happy I finally did so for my costume I was Winifred and you're only gonna need a few things to get the look so the base of it being blue you're gonna want something a royal blue color I had this long blue royal dress and that's from Lulu's but anything will work you could do a maxi skirt as long as it's blue it'll work Next, you're going to need a corset. I found mine from Party City, and it's actually called a witch corset, so it matched really awesomely. And then you're also going to need a cape. In the movie, Winifred has a super detailed, intense cape, but you can totally get the look with just a plain green one. Mine I found at Party City. Next, you're going to need a red wig, or unless you have red hair. And I kind of pinned it up to make it look like her kind of crazy hairstyle. And then, of course, you're going to need a book to carry around. Next we have Mary, and Carrie did such a good job playing her, she just killed it, I think she's so funny. Um, but you're only going to need a few things, and Carrie had a lot of this stuff actually in her own closet. So starting out for shoes, you can wear black, brown booties, whatever you have. Carrie had some maroon ones, so she wore those. Then for the base of it, she wore a floral dress that has kind of like a vintage -y pattern to it, but it's definitely the key piece of this is that the colors are darker. Mary wears like plaid, she wears dark maroons, so make sure you do that if you're going to be her. Over it, Carrie wore an orange style peasant top and belted that. And then she bought a red cape from Party City, so the only thing she really bought was the cape, which was awesome. And then of course, Mary, you gotta have her hair, so we put, uh, we cut a water bottle in half, a plastic water bottle, and put it on top of her head and tied ponytails on it, and it created her hairstyle, and I think it looks so funny and awesome. And lastly, we have Sarah, and for Sarah's costume, the main things you're going to need are colors that are like pink, reds, or purple. She's very girly, very playful, um, so look for that in your closet. So, to start out, Julia just wore some black booties, and then for the skirt, I actually had this one from ASOS. It's just a mauve pink color, so any type of maxi skirt like that will work. And then we took a purple child's cape, and we tucked it in the sides of her skirt, and then shredded it to give it that kind of like old look that they have in the movie. And then for the top, we have this mesh dress, which is like a, it's a red maroon color. But the key thing for Sarah's look is to have mesh sleeves because that's kind of what she wears. And then of course, a blonde wig. And after that, your Hocus Pocus Sanderson sister costume is done. Perfect for a group of friends. I definitely think this one's my favorite. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Okay, so for the Sally and Jack couple costume, this one is super cute, but it does take a little bit more work on Sally's end because I DIY'd the dress. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that now. The first thing you're going to need is a dress. So I found this one for a super affordable price at H&M. The main thing I was looking for was a yellow or mustard color because that's going to make your life easier just as a template. So I already glued some felt pieces on the top of this because I had to do this while it was on because your boobs stretch it out so you want to make sure that whatever you put on the top half of that you do it while it's on you. So you're going to need fabric glue, some felt, and you're just going to basically cut out shapes or patches since Sally's dress is kind of like a patchwork dress. Um, so this is totally up to you. You can follow my design, you can do whatever you want. I just cut out pieces and kind of like 
laid them out and made sure I liked how it looked. Um, I went off of some costumes I found online as just kind of like a guide for me. Um, but whatever you kind of feel, you guys can go totally all out or just do like a few patches like I did. Um, I didn't do the back of it, but you totally can. Just it depends on how much time you have. Um, but it's super affordable because all you really need is the dress and then these little like... I think they were like 30 cent um, pieces of felt from the fabric store and then fabric glue and you just basically glue them on like so. For the design and the stitches, all I did was purchase a Sharpie paint marker, a Sharpie or a fabric marker would work great too. I bought it in black and basically all you're going to do is copy the designs on her dress so she had like some spirals and triangles on the pink parts of her fabric and then of course everything was connected by like little stitches so all I did was create lines and X's um, until all of the edges were complete. So like I said, you can follow my design if you want to. So then to make it look more distressed like hers, I cut up the bottom of it into like little tiny strips and then instead of leaving it like that, I decided to cut them into like triangles. So basically all I did was cut one side of the end off at an angle. Um, so it created this kind of like jagged edge like her dress. For the sleeves, I cut one halfway down so it would kind of go off the shoulder and then did the same jagged triangle edges at that side and I'm going to show you guys how I did on this side. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a mismatch thing so I didn't cut the shoulder off of this one, I just left it and I just cut the little ends into strips. Now for her little arm pieces, if that makes sense, I don't know what these are, but a lot of the costumes come with it. All you're going to need is some white felt and you're going to glue it with some fabric glue kind of into like this hot dog shape, if that makes sense. So basically your arm can fit into it. So just measure it beforehand to make sure it fits. And then once you let that dry, you don't want to stick your arm in it yet, let the glue dry. And then after that, you're going to find where your thumb is and you're going to cut a little thumb hole um, with the scissors, of course, and try it on like so. Then you're just going to take your fabric marker or Sharpie marker and you're just going to create the stitch design that she has on her arms, um, like so. And after that, your Sally costume is done. You got a really awesome dress that you did yourself. It's not going to look like anybody else's if you happen to see another Sally. Um, and it's super easy. So I just wore it with some black booties. And then for the rest of my outfit, I wore a red wig. I could only find this short one, so I tied it into a ponytail. But if you can find a long red one, that would work perfect. Put stitches all over my face and some white eyeshadow, but you can totally follow a more in-depth tutorial if you want to. Then, moving on to Jack's costume, aka Patrick's. You're only going to need a few things. We kept it super simple. We found this black and white striped shirt from ASOS, bought an oversized black bow tie from Party City. He wore some black pants and some black shoes, and then colored in his eyes with black eyeshadow and put stitches on his mouth. They're all together, Wookie, the Adams family. And lastly, for the Wednesday Adams costume, this one is so super easy. It's perfect for last minute. I absolutely love it. So the only thing you're really going to need is a dress. I found mine from Forever 21. It's black and white stripes, but the main things you're going to want to look for is a Peter Pan collar and long sleeves because that's always what she wears. I wore mine with some black booties, and of course I wore a black wig and I braided it into two long braids. Carried around a skull and my Wednesday Adams look was complete. Super simple and I think it looks really cute. But that's my video for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked my Halloween videos this year. Stay tuned because I have a fall lookbook coming up next and I think it's one of my favorite lookbooks I've ever done so I'm really excited for you guys to see it. And I think that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!